There is a, there is a experiment that we've been doing on grounding. If you recall how we had everybody come up here and we did the four or five folks that went and got grounded. They had the pain. And we're going to look at their blood. You guys want to check this out? So this is before and after grounding. So this is subject one. One of the folks who was in our audience right here. That's their blood before. This is 45 minutes later. Okay, let's go to the next one here. All right, and you can just see what's happening. Look at it. See, there we have the agglutinated blood, the coagulated blood. There's the free-form electrostatically charged blood. Let's go to subject three. There you see the grounded blood again, 45 minutes later. Subject four, look at that. We're electrical creatures way before we're chemical creatures. Electricity affects you immediately. How long does it last? Unknown. It's a very good question. We don't know how long we can load up on electricity in a, as a reservoir and hold it. But we're learning more about that. That's, that is the subject. Now, what's interesting about this grounding business is that you hold the electricity in the Chinese meridian points. And the number one reservoir of this electricity in your whole body is actually your thyroid. <laughs> 